Hello there guys again and welcome to my first Windows Server 2019 tutorial and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to install configure uh, the duplication to save some disk space and we all know that space is a very important matter so let's get started uh, first of all you gotta go to uh, Windows Admin Center or Server Manager as Windows Admin Center is a new feature, it's kind of cool, you know. I haven't had enough of it yet, so I'm going to use it. But you can use uh, the Server Manager instead anyway. Let's go all the way down there to Storage. And as you can see, uh, those are my drives. And uh, one thing that I forgot to mention. So, you can't have the duplication on your main disk but that does not mean that you can't have on your other unformatted disks which were not even initialized. We're gonna initialize them and configure them to use the duplication so that we can save up some extra space. So I got six more drives and those are all gonna be formatted in REFS format and we're gonna use the deduplication magic to save some extra space. So yeah, let's get going. Initialize disk, uh, partition style. Yeah, okay. Shit, was that the right one? Oh God, volumes, five shares, volumes, properties, properties. Uh, okay, I think there's no way to get format resize. Hmm. Maybe we should use server manager instead. I'm sorry about that. I thought it would let me do that, but it seems like it does not. Well, that's a little bit of a problem. So this one is gonna be reset. Yeah, yeah, sure, goodbye. So it doesn't work. Seems like we can't have the duplication configured on Windows Admin Center, which is a shame, but it's not the end of the universe because we can do that from here, from the well-known server manager which we're used to since Windows Server 2012. Nothing uh, changed when it comes to the visual and procedures are pretty much the same still. So yeah, let's get going. New volume. Initialize. Uh, no, 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 no. New volume. Instead, let's try that. Okay, that's better. Yeah. It's like this could be. Okay. Fair enough. 75, yeah. Drive letter. Okay. Yeah, file system is going to be REFS. And allocation volume label. Let's call it Hyper V because this one is going to be our Hyper V hard drive. Okay. So you read the confirmation, make sure it's all fine, and you click on create. And it's going to make it, as you can see, it's pretty quick because the disk is blank. So there you go, we have this partition working and we can configure the duplication now down here. But first, let's make sure to initialize them all. Bring a line, okay. So let's go in new volume, okay. So it's the same procedure once again, okay. 75, drive letter, F to pay respects, yeah, sure. Let's call it uh, data. Yeah, it's very normy name, but it does the trick, it does the job. So, yeah, those are online. We can bring this one online now. Just ignore that new volume. Yeah, next. Next. It's all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Drive. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, volume label. I'm going to call this one PCM because I want to use... Uh, PCM on Windows Server for some reason. So yeah, let's call it PCM. A 75 gigabyte drive just for PCM. Sounds like fun. It's just for, you know, a few things. I'm going to test it out, see how it works. Probably won't perform well given it's a VM and there is a, a little bit of a RAM shortage here. But what if, you know, what if it works? Let's bring this one online as well. And uh, it's taking way too long. That's all right. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to click on the volume. That's why. Sorry, guys. It's, I'm 
I'm distracted. My apologies. Yeah, H, cool. REFS, of course, because I want to be able to configure uh, the duplication. This one, I'm going to call it um, Hyper-V again, because Hyper-V drives are never enough, you know, the more the better, because then you can mess around with more and more VMs, and that's that's pretty much the fun part. Uh, we have two more to bring online. Yeah, let's bring them all online at once. It's okay. So here we go. New volume. Yeah, sure. Next, next. Okay. 75 drive. Yeah. Not that. Let's call it mm, documents. This one is going to be used for testing with like text documents. Because why not? Let's create it. It's running completed. There you go. There's just this very last one. New volume. Next, not clustered. Yeah, sure. 75k. Yeah, let's call it um, test. This one is going to be our test drive for whatever kind of tests we need. Uh, and then again, it's mirroring is sort of a server lab, you know, even though it's not quite, but. You get the idea anyway so back to this manager where we can see all the volumes let's get going let's start with this one and uh, configure data okay that one's not ready for the duplicate excuse me what do you mean what do you mean I can't configure the duplication excuse me okay that's a bit of oh yeah you have to enable the duplication on it, but extend volume format properties. If you use space, okay, that's a problem. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Little problem here that I forgot. I fully forgot. I'm sorry about that. You gotta go add roles and features next. Role based. Yeah, that's that's bad. I forgot about that. You have to install the duplication under file and storage services so here you go I forgot about that because I'm so used to which you have installed already because I did that first but as I had to record a, a first walkthrough video on Windows Server 2019 I kind of forgot to install that my apologies I was like okay why is it not working why is it not showing up and then you know it just came to me like oh okay so that's why I forgot to install it doesn't come by default which doesn't make sense I uh, I mean it's so useful it was meant to be there from the start I mean I get Windows being lightweight at first and you know on-demand feature set but I think that should be a default feature honestly like it's very important saving data space today is very 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 important storage is a big matter it always was but like the duplication is magic it saves a lot of space it might not sound like that at first at all it doesn't seem like that but you know once you have a bunch of data together you see that it kind of makes the difference it's very important to have I mean if you're using the server for your company to keep your own documents and shit it's very important because it does make a difference does make quite a difference it's a major game changer when it comes to mostly for small companies and shit when you don't have like enough funds to have a bunch of drives and shit so storage is very important and mostly like if you were on a server lab with limited space as well that's gonna be very very handy Anyway, so we got it installed. There is a warning here. Okay, that's just regarding initialization. So now, as you can see, we can configure data to duplication, which <laughs> I was like, why is it not there? So there you go. Here you can enable it. And there is a bunch of uh, different uh, settings that you can use for the duplication. So general purpose, you can use for, well, for you know, normal storage shit. And then VDI, which is for... VMs and the backup server for you know your documents and shit but let's use general purpose because that's the point and then you can change settings that duplicate files older than zero days 
it's important to, to duplicate. We don't have any files as of right now, so it doesn't matter. But if you have older files, just change the settings. And then you can set a schedule where you can, you know, set uh, an exact date for it to run, date and time. So let's say I want it running today, which is Monday. So you disable the other ones, Monday, and you set a, a time for it, a start time and a duration. So let's say I want to last in just one hour. So it's going to use a lot of CPU because it has to be done in just one hour. So it's going to take as much resources as it needs. But let's say I want, I want to have it done in eight hours. So it's going to use less CPU and less RAM because, you know, I don't want it like ASAP, but as I don't have any data, it doesn't matter. Let's just go with one. You can have even two schedules. So you can have like you're running in two different uh, twice a day if you wish, or, you know, it's up to you. You could have like uh, the morning and then an afternoon. It doesn't matter. So it's up to you. You apply and boom, there you go. You have your schedule set. And when it comes, when the time comes, it's going to compress the files. You're going to have a bunch of uh, space saving thingies going on, which is amazing. It really does save space. I did a test before with uh, the preview version. I had a few Debian VMs and uh, it, it was up to 65% data compression, which is quite impressive. I mean, we we're talking about 65%. It's not like, oh, just a 20% difference. And the uh, most important part, which I forgot to mention, is that you don't have performance or read speed loss. So the VMs were loading as quickly as they always loaded. You know, it was like nothing was going on under your hood, which is amazing. So you have the compression and you don't have any differences when it comes to speed, which is great. It's very, very, very good it's mind-blowing so yeah that's pretty much it you go to the drive you click down there and data the duplication so you go here let's say uh, it's a VDI server uh, zero days please and then you can add some extensions to exclude from uh, the compression some things that you can't quite compress because it's gonna affect the performance or you know just doesn't work if compressed so you can add to the exclusion zone and here you can add uh, like folders to the exclusion as well like if you want to leave uh, a specific folder out of that specific VM that you don't want to compress just you know click on add and boom there you go so here set the schedule you click OK and when the time comes it will compress the files and it's gonna show it here the rate which is how much it compressed how much it saved uh, the savings in numbers, so, you know, the gigs you got free and the percent used off the disk. So you can keep track of how full of how empty it is, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, that's the video. I hope it helped. Sorry about having to install uh, the duplication feature because I completely forgot. I mean, I, I thought, like, such an important thing. It has to be built in, but it's not. It's, it has to be installed as an external feature, but anyway, that's, oh, we got to the point, we got it working, so that's what matters, sorry about the minor struggle, but here we are, we got it deduplicated, so that's pretty much it, I hope it helped, I can do uh, a few comparison tests if you, guys, if you guys wish later on, like, get some data in there and try to compress and see the differences, I mean, that's only if you guys want, so leave a comment down below if you want that. And that's pretty much it for today. Hope you helped. Don't forget to leave feedback down in the comment section. And take care. Adios.